Yo, 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 it's your boy Weston Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to go over, is DistroKid's new playlister feature worth it or not? All right. So if you're a recording artist who's possibly looking into DistroKid's new playlister feature and you're wondering whether it is in fact worth it or not, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to explain everything that you need to know about this new feature. All right. Now, before I continue, I definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business checklist tool that's available on my website right now. All right. This tool is for any one of you who is possibly looking into starting your own music business but don't exactly know where to start all right if you want more information on that and you want to know three easy things that you could do right away to start your own music business definitely click on the link above it'll take you straight to the website or you could look at the link in the descriptions below all right eat now when it comes to this new feature that distro kid has when it comes to this new playlist or feature all right the big question is always whether it's worth it or not and when we're talking about worth we're always talking about cost right because at the end of the day if it's free it's always worth it right worth is always described by how much you have to sacrifice in order to get whatever you want all right now when it comes to this playlist or feature i'll be honest with you we may have mixed feelings about it mixed opinions about it but for me personally i think it's worth it if it lines up with your budget and this is what i mean by that when it comes to distro kids new playlist or feature we have to understand that it is only available to those of you who actually have the unlimited plan all right now the unlimited plan is obviously more than any of the other plans it's their most expensive plan which is 89.99 a year all right now if you're an artist who has the 1999 plan i don't know why it's not the best plan, but if that's all you could afford, I completely understand. The best plan, in my opinion, that DistroKid has is actually their $39.99 plan, all right? It's their Musician Plus plan. The reason I think it's the best is because you can actually set up your release dates. The $20 one, you can't set up your release dates. It's released whenever they feel like it. With the $39.99 plan, I think it's imperative that you're actually able to set your own release dates so you could plan your marketing around when you actually release your music rather than leaving it up to DistroKid to release it for you. And of course, there are some other things that I believe is absolutely necessary when it comes to a, a distribution service. And the Musician Plus plan is the plan that facilitates that. Now that's $39.99 a month, all right? That's what I have. That's the most popular one. So if you were on the, to go to the ultimate plan, you would be looking at an additional $50 a year, all right? Now, of course, it sounds a lot when you're looking at the year, but when you're actually thinking about it per month, the $39.99 plan is only about $3 a month, right? The ultimate plan is about $7 a month. So really you're talking about only about $4 extra a month to have the plan. But of course, if you can't afford the $89.99 a year, I completely understand. But what I did want to do is, is actually show you guys what this feature can actually do. That way, from that point, you could actually make your decision for yourself. Now, for me, like I said, I had the $39.99 plan. I literally upgraded to the ultimate plan just so I could show you this, just so I could check it out for myself and see if it'll actually work. So hopefully, a lot of you guys will watch this video and I can make that money back. If I don't, it's all good. I'm doing it for y'all anyway, all right? So just to show you guys exactly how this works, after you actually get the unlimited plan, or if you already have the unlimited plan already, all you gotta do is go to your homepage, then click on the menu in the top right hand corner where you see the four boxes, all right? Once the menu drops, all you gotta do is scroll down and go to where it says get um get heard now all right once you click on get heard now you will see the playlist is the first option that you will be able to choose all right once you choose it it should bring you to this screen right here all right now once you're at this screen you can literally go into the search bar and search the different type of playlist that your music caters to the best whatever genre of music you make that's what you would search 
in this search engine, all right? Now, I tell artists all the time, you need to be very specific with what type of music you make. Like, don't just put hip hop music because that's a lot that's gonna come up. You wanna get more specific. If you can't get more specific than that, I understand. But if you can get more specific, please do so. If you make lo-fi hip hop or whatever the type that you make, get specific, all right? So for me personally, I make Christian hip hop music. So what I did was I actually went in the search engine and actually put in Christian hip hop music, all right? Once I click search, of course we get this whole warning message that lets us know, all right, um, if you contact them, you know, and they ask you for money, don't do it. It might be a scam and this thing like that. And that is actually, in fact, a big deal. All right. You want to make sure that the people you are submitting to are willing to do it for you. And you're not actually paying to get on their playlist because a lot of those are scams because once you pay them, all right, they may have you on their playlist for like a month and then they go ahead and take it down versus someone who actually likes your music. They'll probably keep your playlist on their playlist forever because they actually generally like the song all right so i do agree with this warning but to proceed you do have to click i agree on this warning all right then it's gonna go through this little search thing where it says searching billions of playlists now i highly doubt that it's billions of playlists all right but and let the search engine do what they want to do that's probably a little marketing uh scheme just to tell you it's billions i don't think it's billions at all but i'm sure that if this is connected to distro kit i'm sure that it is a lot of them but once the search was over to be honest with you it pulled up a lot of different playlists as you can see these are the playlists that came up when i actually searched christian hip-hop music so it is in fact working it does work and it does do exactly what the playlister is telling us it does what happens is once you click on one of these playlists this window will come up and it will show you the best form of contact in this case it's instagram and you could actually click on this button right here to view the actual playlist which means that you could do the research yourself go to the playlist check out the playlist make sure that your song will fit in that playlist that way it could better help your chances when you actually contact them and submit your music to them for example because i make christian hip-hop music if this playlist doesn't have any other christian music on there i may not this may not my song may not be the best fit for this playlist so me contacting them i'm really this is it's a low chance that they'll put my song on their playlist or vice versa right but because you're able to actually look at the playlist you'll actually be able to say okay yeah my song could fit here yes i see lecrae i see a 1k few i see other christian hip-hop matter of fact this whole playlist is a christian hip-hop playlist my song can fit here if they like it right so cool thing like i said the contacts is right there you can literally contact them now once i did the first one i honestly just kept going through them to see you know how how many of them were legit a lot or not and for the most part 90 percent of them were legit now what's interesting is that there's different forms of contact some it was by instagram some it was by email some it was by another uh, another platform so um like drop tracks some was sound play so they have different different submission versions or different ways to contact them to submit your music but they all actually had a link to click on to actually submit your music to it's probably one of those things that they probably can't even get on this database unless they actually have some form of contact and i went through a bunch of them all right so this does in fact work and the when i submitted everything within about 30 minutes to an hour i actually did get someone who actually reached out to me back. I, I DM'd them on Instagram, I sent them a song, and they actually contacted me back within literally an hour that they're gonna be adding my song to their playlist. So it does in fact work. I can tell you that it does work. Of course, you have to do your part as far as making sure you're sending or you're talking to the right people who has the type of music that your music fits with, but either way, if you do the right searches, it will work. And obviously, you can search more than one thing. I did Christian hip hop. Next, I'm probably going to do Christian rap music. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try different things that my music actually caters to. But it does work. So the question about whether it works, you shouldn't have that question anymore. It'll all come down to now. Is it actually, in fact, worth it to you or not? Is it worth paying that extra $50 a year? in order to have access to this database where you can submit your music to for free 
I don't, well, not for, yeah, it is for free because you're contacting them directly. Now, I don't know the answer to that. And of course, you know, some of you may think, well, once I get their contact, what's the purpose of having the ultimate plan from that point? That I completely agree with you. I have no argument there. I'm actually thinking about that myself. Once I get the contact, I already have the contacts. I have the contacts per permanently, but I don't know how often DistroKid will update this system. I don't know if, you know, um, they update it regularly or if it ever gets updated. So that I won't know until I actually have it for some time. All right, maybe I'll do a video in the future to see if my perception on whether it's worth it or not changes. But as of right now, I do think that it is worth it, especially if you're someone out there looking into getting your music on Spotify playlists and you're trying to get yourself out there as an artist. Now, I also do offer a free Spotify tool that you can submit to Spotify playlists for free as well. It's eight different websites that you can actually submit your music to when it comes to Spotify specifically. If you want to know more about that, you can click on the link above. All right, it'll give you eight different websites that you could actually submit to for free. Now, those may work better for you because obviously there's no extra cost to that. This Joe Kid, you would have to have the unlimited plan. And if you don't have it already, that is an extra cost. But for the websites that I have, they're completely free. You can submit to them for free. The only thing about those websites is you may not find as much as I have found here. I'll be honest, out of those eight websites here, just having everything in one place, it is a little bit easier than having to go through all those different websites that I have. But if you want a free route and you cannot afford that additional $50 a month, definitely click on the link again above to check out my um, my free websites. The descriptions or the link to that will be in the descriptions as well, all right? It's absolutely free. You can get it, it'll tell you the eight websites and you can submit to those playlists for free. Are they the same playlist that's on this list? Actually, to be honest, I saw two of them that, that, are, that were, that I've submitted to before through those websites. So they are in, uh, intertangling by somewhere or the other. So these aren't exclusive to DistroKid. I'm gonna tell you that right now, they're not exclusive because I was able to find a couple of playlists on here that I've already submitted to through the free route, but I haven't found all of them, which means that this playlist through DistroKid does have something to offer you. It's just up to you on whether it's actually worth it or not. Now, there's one other disclaimer that I'll let you guys know about because as soon as this list came up, I just started going one after the other, contacting them one after the other. I did get to a point that I got this message right here where there actually is a limit to how many contacts they will show you a day. You're limited to 20 a day. Now, of course, this may factor into whether you want to do this or not. I don't know. For me, it doesn't really, but I felt the need to definitely let you guys know this because I didn't see any limits before, but yes, there is a 20 contact limit, meaning tw every contact they added up. Once you actually see the 20th contact, you get this message right here, letting you know you got to try again tomorrow. All right. That's not a big deal for some. It can be, it can be a big deal for others. It's entirely up to you. All right. But that's pretty much it. That's everything that this playlist or through distro kid has to offer. I think it's a dope thing. I honestly think that it's absolutely worth it considering you're trying to get your money, uh, your music out there and you're really only looking at a $4 difference in the premium a month. All right, yearly is $50, but again, that's on a year basis, right? Now, of course, with the unlimited plan, there are other things that you get as well. So it's not just only, you only get access to that feature. There's other features you get as well. You can have up to five artists on your account and all of these other things you get as well. So it's not just this, but if you wanted this, if you wanted to take advantage of this, you would absolutely need the ultimate plan. And again, if you have the 1999 plan, I would advise you to kill that plan and go to the 3999 anyway. All right. But if you have the 3999 and you really consider whether to go to the 89 or not, like I said, four dollars more a month is not that big of a deal to help get your music out there and get on these um, playlists to actually help your artistry grow. Now, some of you might also ask the question. Well, do these playlists have large engagement? I probably should have addressed that earlier. It varied. I saw some with a couple of hundred. I saw some over a thousand. I saw some over a hundred thousand. So it varies between that. 
all right? It's just up to you to actually contacting each one and seeing if they'll add your music to their playlist, all right? But that's pretty much it. That's everything that I found out about DistroKid's playlist or tool, all right? And whether it's worth it or not. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. I'm gonna be testing this out and checking it for the next couple of days. So any more questions or concerns or anything that I find, I'll leave comments in the comment section below to let you know about as well. But as far as what I see right now, I think it's worth it. But again, everyone is different in their music careers. You may not be able to afford the $90 right now every year. So if you're in that case, I understand. But if you can, I say go for it. It's absolutely worth it, all right? But that's pretty much it. Again, if you have any additional questions or concerns, leave comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Nobody